persimmons because apparently I post a lot of pictures of persimmons and on Instagram I get questions all the time of people saying hang on why do you like persimmons so much they're so hard to eat they give me cotton mouth I, when I ate them last time I felt like I was having an allergic reaction it was so dry well I'm here to explain to you how to eat persimmons truthfully I just would hate to see this beautiful fruit go to waste because you feel like it's too dry and it makes your mouth feel like a desert the main thing you need to know if you're buying persimmons here in America is there are two varieties so there's actually over 200 known varieties of persimmons in the world and actually it's been documented there's been over a thousand varieties but 200 main varieties that people know of um, but there are two varieties that are sold in the West that most people know it's the Fuyu persimmon and the Hachiya persimmon I'm not sure if I'm saying it correctly but these are the two the Fuyu persimmon is squat it can be eaten hard it can be eaten like an apple but it can also soften up and it can be eaten like a peach let's talk very quickly about the Fuyu persimmon um, we don't need to say a lot because it is not an astringent variety the reason Hachiya persimmons are astringent is because they have something called tannins in them so you know the word tannin probably from something like wine um, oak and grapes also have tannins and they are what make like the the, what the mouth feels like when you're drinking the wine or something like that. There's a ton of tannins in here which make it very astringent when it's unripe. But the Fuyu uh, persimmon, the, there are tannins but not nearly as many. I buy quite a lot of persimmons at the farmer's market during the winter months because they are affordable and they're really hearty and they offer me lots of calories so I can get, you know, lots of my fruit in and I don't have to buy a ton of other fruits. So, I love eating persimmons, they make me feel really good, there's lots of vitamins and nutrients in them, and they give me lots of energy. The way I like to eat uh, Fuyu persimmons, if I'm on the go, I love how sturdy they are, I could just throw them in my bag, it's like an apple and I can eat them like an apple. I definitely eat the skin, I never peel a persimmon. But I also really like to chop them up because they're really beautiful and I like to eat them with a fork or with my hands. I just have two different um, levels of ripeness in these Fuyu persimmons right now to show you. This persimmon I bought yesterday at the farmer's market. Um, so it's quite hard still, but I'll show you that when you cut down the middle like this, there's a beautiful star uh, a star pattern, and I like when I bring persimmons like to a potluck or like a Thanksgiving or something like that, I like to slice them like this because they're just so pretty and you can just eat them like this and you can hear how crunchy they are. Um, it's totally fine to eat a few persimmons squat, the squat persimmons un unripe but they're ripe when they're hard. Um, they're basically ripe when they have a pretty orange color like this. I also have this persimmon, which is from the same farmer that I got this persimmon at yesterday, but I bought this, I think, two or three weeks ago, so it's ripening a little bit, but it doesn't get very soft very fast, and I think that's what's frustrating for people if you're not familiar with persimmons, is it does take a minute um, for them to ripen. So this has been on my counter for several weeks, and it's still... You can see it's like slightly soft to the touch, but not really. Um, so I'll show you when I cut into this. It has a slightly deeper orange, and it's starting to get more gelatinous. I don't have a really good example of a very ripe Fuyu persimmon, but Fuyu persimmons do get more puddingy um, if you let them ripen over time. Mmm. See, I love these hard persimmons and think they're really good. These these get sweeter if you just let them ripen. But my point is that you can eat them when they're hard too and you're totally fine. You won't get that weird feeling in your mouth. Let's move on to the Hachiya persimmon because this is one that's really giving people trouble. If someone, you know, bought a Fuyu persimmon in the store and they didn't really know what it was, they wanted to try a new fruit, they could eat it and be like, oh, that was okay. And they don't really understand that, you know, you can let it get sweeter. But if you bought a Hachiya persimmon in the store and you bit into it, you'd be like, what the? You'd probably return it because you thought that uh, you bought a bad fruit or something is wrong with it or maybe you're allergic to it. If I bit into this, I would have the same exact weird desert mouth, cotton mouth reaction that you have. Because this Hachi persimmon is not ripe at all. I've had this persimmon for I think five weeks now or four weeks sitting on my counter and it's pretty much just as hard as when I bought it. Yesterday at the farmer's market I bought a bunch of ripe persimmons um, just so I could show you guys what they look like. I just don't eat a lot of Hachiya persimmons even though they are so delicious just because I don't really have the patience they're not very durable um, they're harder to transport so if I'm at the farmers market I'm carrying a bunch of bags I'm more likely to smush one <laughs> this is what a ripe Hachiya persimmon looks like it, it's not the fact that it's bigger it just happens to be a bigger fruit but it should feel like a water balloon in your hand so it's very very heavy and dense but you, as you can see, my fingers just like slide right into it and it's very, very soft. 
And you have to pay attention that the entire part is soft, and that means all the astringency is gone. And the way you eat this, you can slice into it if you want, but the way you eat just a, a regular ripe Hygieia persimmon is to bite into it, and I'll show you that inside the, the flesh is very like gelatinous, and it's like a pudding. Mm. Oh my gosh, mom, do you wanna try this? It's so good. This is like this one of the sweetest. Mm. Mm. It's so good. I'm, I'm not, oh my gosh. Do you see how soft it is? This is what a hachia persimmon has to look like in order for you to be able, in order for it to be edible. It's not just like, oh, it tastes better when it's sweeter, like with the squat persimmons, but with the acorn shaped persimmons, it's inedible when it's like this, but it's so delicious when it's soft. And that's basically all you need to know about eating a persimmon. There are so many fun recipes you can try. Um, a lot of people like to make puddings out of persimmons because as you can see, it's got this like super thick pudding-like texture. Um, but I just, I don't have time to make a recipe, so I just eat it like a normal fruit. Like it's like a super ripe peach or something. If you go to the farmer's market and you have persimmons available to you, and if they sell hachia, the acorn-shaped elongated persimmons, I recommend asking your farmer to set aside some ripe ones for you, just because it takes such a long time for them to ripen on the counter, but typically they get lots of persimmons coming through them and they've got you know, ripe ones on hand and they could set some aside. Make sure you have some sort of box or some sort of vessel to take the persimmons home. Otherwise, they will just completely smush and make your bag disgusting. But it's so worth it because they're incredibly sweet. And I hope that this helps you to eat more persimmons when they're in season. I love to eat seasonally because it offers us so many nutrients. Mmm. And it makes it that much more exciting when the season comes around.